Hi all, I am Riku Raju. So in KP classes, we provide an IIT JAM course for geology examination. So as we all know, IIT JAM geology paper is for uh, MS, is an MSc entrance examination to get admission in the top universities of India in all the IITs and ISER and NITs etc. We get admission through IIT JAM examination. So, if you want to get a master degree from in uh, from any IITs, uh, you have to get a good rank in IIT JAM paper. So, if you qualify a, a good rank in IIT JAM uh, geology paper, you can get admission in all these IITs. These are the major IITs that provide master degree in uh, geology. So, we get uh, uh, courses like MSc Applied Geology, Join MSc PhD in Geology, Join MSc PhD in Geophysics, uh, join MSc uh, PhD in Atmosphere and Ocean Science, MSc Tech in Applied Geology. These are the different courses provided in providing in different different IITs in IIT Bombay, IIT Roorkee, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Bhubaneswar, and IIT ISM. Then, but other than IITs, uh, there are uh, ISA, NIT, NITs uh, like institutes that also provide master degree in. Uh, geology. Some provide MSc in Applied Geology, some provide MSc PhD Joint Degree. So uh, that also through IIT uh, JAM examination. So this is the cutoff, last year cutoff mark in the general unreserved category. So in IIT Bhubaneswar for Joint MSc PhD Geology, the opening rank was 85, closing rank was 106. To get an admission in IIT Bombay, it was uh, one was the opening rank. 15 was the closing rank. In IIT ISM then but for getting an admission in Applied Geology, MSc Tech, which is of actually a 6 semester course. Uh, opening is of 8 uh, is the rank. Closing is 83. In IIT Kharagpur, uh, to get a joint MSc PhD in Geology, uh, the opening rank of admission was 70. Closing rank was 50. Then in IIT Roorkee, it was 38 opening rank. 62 was the general closing rank. IIT Bhubaneswar in for atmosphere and ocean science joined MSc PhD. It was one, 122 was the opening rank and 167 was closing rank. In IIT Kharagpur uh, for geophysics uh, joined MSc PhD. 107 was the uh, opening rank and 140 was the closing rank. So this is only for the general uh, unreserved category. For other categories, the rank opening and closing rank will be different. So, IIT JAM paper uh, is uh, one of the toughest mass MSc paper, which has a three-hour three hour duration examination. Uh, there, in the paper, there are a total 60 questions uh, or to, uh, of 100 marks. We can divide the paper into three, section A, section B and section C. Section A consists of 30 MCQ questions. MCQ means uh, 4 choices will be there out of which only 1 choice will be the correct answer. And in that 30 MCQs, first 10 MCQs were are uh, 1 mark section. Then the next 20 will be 2 mark section. Altogether it will be of 50 marks. Then in section B, 10 MCQs, MSQs will be there. MSQ is a multiple selection type question. In multiple selection type questions, it is simply there may be one or more, more than one choices will be there which are correct out of the four given choice. Uh, importance is that MSQ does not have any negative marking. Whereas MCQ set of questions will have some, uh, we have negative marking. So for one more question, one by third is the negative marking. Two by three will be the negative mark of two mark section in MCQ. In MSQ, there are only 10 questions of MSQ part, section B, uh, of 20 marks, each question of 2 marks. Then in section C, total 20 questions will be there. All 20 questions will be numerical questions. Numerical questions means simply your answer will be a real number and there will be a, digit, a, a, a virtual keyboard will be there on the monitor which we can use to type the answer. So that is the numerical type questions. Numerical type question also have two sections like one mark section and two mark section. One mark section there are 10 questions and there are 10 questions of two mark section also. Altogether it is a 100 mark, question, 100 mark paper. So this section B and section C does not carry any negative marks. 
so it is a very conf confidentially you can go through this whole 50 questions uh, if it is correct you will get the whole full mark whereas uh, section a should be very careful because there is negative mark in, in the uh, mcq section so we have you should be very careful not to make any negative course, negative marks so this is the complete details about uh, an idea uh, about iit jam paper other than iit jam examination there is one more exam uh, for masters uh, getting admission uh, in uh, post graduation for geology uh, cuet examinations in cuet uh, there are 100 question paper is there 100 questions will be there in the question paper that also can be divided into two Part A consists of general awareness section where there will be some aptitude, numerical, uh, mathematical related questions will be there, which is of uh, 25 MCQs are there. Then rest 75 questions are of completely geology questions that is in the part B. So these are actually the uh, 14 listed institutes that provide uh, post graduation in geology related courses. Uh, all central universities of so central university of south bihar central university of kerala karnataka tamil nadu punjab uh, banaras hindu university uh, pondicherry university all these universities uh, give, uh, give admission through cuet examination so the course structure of geology in uh, uh, our iit jam course structure here in kp classes will be in such a way that We'll be covering all the sections according to IIT JAM syllabus and also you can give CUET paper. Uh, there are some topics like remote sensing which is not included in IIT JAM paper but it is included in CUET. So we'll be covering the complete remote sensing section also along with the IIT JAM course so that you guys can uh, attend CUET paper also nicely. So uh, let's come to the course structure. First topic we'll be covering will be uh, planetary science. In planetary science, we'll go through the origin of solar system, origin of Earth and other planets, features of planets, uh, density, different uh, like questions directly come. What are the different uh, planets that are, have density below this one, or which one has rotation less than uh, the uh, the uh, revolution, uh, time revolution time. So direct questions come from this section. We will also see the gravity and magnetic field of Earth, shape and size of Earth in detail. Next, in geodynamics topic, we will see the internal structure of Earth, the, uh, the, the seismic layers, crust mantle core, the uh, rheological uh, layers, lithosphere, asthenosphere, terminologies, uh, the earthquakes and seismic waves, different types of earthquakes, different types of seismic waves. Uh, isostasy, uh, Aries, Pratt, different, uh, the rebound theory, all, all the theories and uh, numerical questions do all come from this section. Then plane tectonics, sea floor spreading, orogeny, Wilson cycle, uh, all these things will be covered in the geodynamics portion. In geomorphology, which is a very vast topic, we'll cover all the geomorphic agents and the landforms associated with them, for example, fluvial and fluvial landforms, uh, glacial, aeolian, lacustrine, marine, marine, then volcanic landforms, all these things will be covered, mass wasting and then uh, some technical terms like uh, fraud number, uh, Reynolds number related to the fluvial system, the fluvial energy system the uh, terminologies related to a stream the, uh, <coughs> which uh, in, from which mathematical questions do come we will def define all those things in geomorphology then the next important portion is structural geology which is very important for uh, IIT jam paper so there we can divide the structural geology into two kinematics part and the dynamics part in the kinematics part, we will define the geometry of fold, fold, joins, lineations, foliations. In dynamics, is the forces responsible for this geometry, uh, the stress, different types of the stress applied to for, for the formation of uh, different types of fold or different types of fold will be defined in the dynamics part. Then we will see the details about a shear zone, different le levels, what are the different types of of uh, structures we get then maths and stereonauts each each of this structure how can we recognize them in a map uh, which is very important 
and also how can we plot these structures in a stereolite that's also very important we'll cover all these things with the structural geology in crystallography mineralogy we'll see the crystal systems and their mineral associates space group point group hnm symbols the mineral uh, classification different mineral groups uh, optical and physical properties of minerals will also be covered then uh, stratigraphy in stratigraphy first we will go through the basic concept like uh, the different principles of stratigraphy uh, then lithostratigraphy chronostratigraphy terminologies biostratigraphy terminologies then uh, we'll see the uh, geological time scale from the time of formation of earth different events happened in throughout the geological time scale should be uh, done very carefully which is very important and then stratigraphy of india pre cambrian and the phanerozoic stratigraphy in detail geotechnical evolution of each of the successions each of the cratons the if it is a phanerozoic succession fossils associated with them uh, etc will also be mineral or or minerals associated with them will also be defined in the stratigraphy section next subject is geochemistry so geochemistry is not a very important topic we uh, geochemistry is much Im very important for gate or net examination whereas over here for jam paper geochemistry is not very important so we'll just see the basics of geochemistry so geochemical principles uh, classification of elements on the basis of geochemistry geochemical classification then the basics of dating rocks uh, will be defined in the geochemistry section that actually will be included along with the igneous cores will cover the geochemistry portions also then in the igneous petrology we'll see so then comes the whole petrology like igneous sedimentary metamorphic petrology section so in petrology section we have to go through the classification of rocks and the texture and structure seen in them uh, in the metamorphic and igneous we have to see the phase rule uh, and the uh, IUGS classification of uh, uh, igneous rocks, different types of metamorphisms, uh, facies and zones of metamorphism. Uh, when it comes to sedimentology, we have to see the sedimentary environment, sedimentary facies, uh, the the uh, different types of sedimentary basins. All these things we have to study in sedimentology uh, and all the petrology part. Then comes the engineering geology. Engineering geology is actually uh, very important when it comes to the numerical section of uh, paper. Uh, stress, strength, failure, definitions, uh, equations, the engineering properties of rock. And then there are some criteria for the consideration of dam, tunnel, highway, bridges. Like there are some geological uh, criteria that we have to keep in mind, like how, uh, giving some data whether uh, in they will provide some structures and by looking at the structure, is it possible to construct a dam over there? So those things we will be explaining in the engineering geology portion. Then other than that, there comes the paleontology section where basic biostratigraphic classifications, terminologies, biohorizons, um, basic uh, paleontology terminologies will be defined, classification. Uh, different organisms from microorganisms to the vertebrates will study uh, then the history of organisms evolution of organisms evolution of holes is very important then uh, fossils seen in india that also will be defined then in economic geology the basics uh, what the difference between a resource a reserve uh, then a, a res or reserve estimation uh, the processes of formation of ore, then on the basis of that, we have to see the classification of ore deposits, metallic and non-metallic ore deposits of India, uh, metallic epochs in India, types of, uh, uh, then coal and petroleum, uh, different types of coal, uh, formation of coal, distribution of coal deposits in India, when it comes to petroleum, formation of petroleum, petroleum unit, reservoir, cap rocks, source rock, a trap, a petroleum unit, different primary and secondary migration in petroleum, sedimentary basins, petroleum basins, uh, the different categories, category 1, category 2, category 3 and category 4, sedimentary basins uh, of petroleum in India, these things in detail we study completely. So actually this is, uh, we, it is resource geology will be covered under economic geology section. 
Then after that comes the hydrogeology portion where we see the different types of water, the hydrogeology terminologies like Darcy slow, uh, Bernoulli situation, specific, uh, specific retention, specific yield, specific capacity, transmissivity terminologies, uh, different types of aquifer, uh, confined aquifer, unconfined aquifer, water table, piezometer terminologies. Uh, then the flow net, uh, all these topics will be covered in hydrogeology. Other than these, we'll be covering the remote sensing and GIS portion, basics of remote sensing and GIS and uh, the relationship between the scale, different types of scale classification in a topo sheet. These things will be covered in the course. So, so this is a nutshell. So more elaborately, we'll be defining it in our classes. So when it comes to our KP class uh, jam section, we will be conducting an online live section. So in the online live section, uh, we will be uh, doing all the classes will be this live section and the live classes will be recorded so that you can watch it again and again if, you, if it is required. We will be conducting, we will be give, providing you worksheets along with the subjects. Uh, worksheets will be having previous year questions also, some new questions also. Then under that worksheets, there will be uh, test papers after each section, we will conduct a test paper. After the test paper, we will conduct a doubt class so that if you have any doubt remaining, you can ask in the doubt section, we can discuss the topic. Then other than these worksheet, more, uh, test papers, there will be thousands of questions are there in our test series. Uh, which is uh, an online based test series that also will be providing to you. You can so go that is section wise, so topics topic wise questions are there. You can solve all the questions. Uh, other than that, when it comes to near to the examination, there will be mock test providing. Then uh, the uh, each topic uh, there will be a study material provided to you. Uh, other than the study material, in class also we'll be giving you lecture notes. So that you can uh, refer the study material in, which are made from the good reference books. So you may not read to, uh, you may not need to waste your time uh, reading a different reference textbook. Referring the study material will be more than enough if you doesn't have, if you don't have enough time. Then there will be revision classes uh, after completing the whole section. We'll be uh, conducting uh, revision classes so that we'll again go through the topics and we'll do the numerical problems. We'll give you mock tests during the revision classes so that you guys will be much more thorough or your confidence will be much more strong to give the examination. Then there is a, a KP Gate Class app, K KP Gate Classes app. Which uh, through which we'll be contacting with you. Like you can ask. There is a chat section which we you can use uh, to ask doubts. Um, then uh, all the lecture recorded lectures will be uploaded over there. Uh, you can uh, there will be different courses available in that. So we, you can go check the gate uh, KP Gate classes app. Uh, other than all these, there will be personal assistance from the faculties. Uh, uh, I am also a geology faculty in KP classes. So uh, other than me, there are uh, different other faculties also present. So you can contact us while uh, asking any doubts. We'll help you in solving geology section. Also, we'll help you in boosting your confidence or how to solve a competitive exam. We'll help you in any anything related to the jam section. We'll help you. So this is about the, the course structure. Hope it was really helpful for you. So we saw what is a jam paper, what are the institutes, how much rank you should get to get into an, uh, uh, an IIT uh, and what is the other examinations uh, for getting uh, for master degree admissions and about the KP classes and the uh, course that we provide. So thank you so much. I hope this was a helpful video for you. Thank you.